people, 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 people. Que pasa, sapa, say what they do. Now, the first thing that is popping in the news is that we see that the Paw Paw threw our next monkey wrench in our next man program. We are speaking about a wanted man. And his name is 30 year old Everton Silent OC, aka Chucky. And he is from Westmoreland. And it is also said his co accused Odin Irvin. They were charged for the slap away of a man on the 29th of November 2020. I am speaking about 25 year old O'Shane Price. Now, based on the information from the Paw Paw, it is said that Mr. O'Shane Price was chilling in his neighborhood in Westmoreland when Mr. Irvin and also Mr. Silent rolled up on some sort of bike and blazed him up several times times he was taken to the place of recovery however people too late was the call now based on the information from the popo it is said that on the 4th of december 2020 now people remember this incident occurred on the 29th of november 2020 and by the 4th of december we are speaking about 2020 the co-accused of mr silent he gave up himself to the popo i am speaking about odin irvin he took himself into the popo and it is said that he was charged or he was held under arrest now people based on information it is said that the other day in a place called manchester the popo were doing some sort of operation and people then buck up on mr everton silent me talk about chucky and people they arrested him so people if you look at what is going on this incident occurred on the 29th of november 2020 one of them got arrested or gave him himself on the 4th of december 2020 and people by this day the next one in a custody so people it only shows that these persons are only doing all sorts of bs and within no sort of time they are caught or they are either dead we are speaking about even worse they are gone to the afterlife so people the moral of the story is this mr irvin and also mr silent they were subsequently charged they were arrested and charged they were charged with murder they were charged with illegal possession of a fire piece and also ammunition so people may just say whenever we see what is going on in jamaica we are speaking but it seems as if there is some sort of disturbing trend as it pertains to persons losing their life as it pertains to crime and violence however there is also a next trend we see that the pope are taking out a whole lot of these wanted persons we see that a whole bunch of these wanted persons are getting locked up some people the moral of the story is that why thief if you can't hide what does it make any sort of sense you slap with somebody and within four or five or six days one of the suspects they are in the custody of the pope them turning themselves and within a couple of months the next one basically lock up so people we are talking about two or two so people that is a good statistics point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source and I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, I have also started posting videos on that channel. And also, please subscribe to this channel. We are speaking about true Jamaica buzz. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option. Now the next thing that is popping in the news and continuing on the theme of hot-headed Jamaicans, young youth that are doing all sorts of BS. Now people, I am speaking about 23-year-old Damian Thompson and he is from a place called Farm Road. We are speaking about Litchfield in Trelawney. And based on the information from the Popo, it is said that he was arrested and charged for illegal possession of fire piece and also assault and common law. Now based on the information, it is said that he went to his girlfriend's house and they had some sort of argument argument and based on the information from the popo it is that he left and he came back with a fire piece and he pointed at the girlfriend and he threatened to take away the girlfriend now people it is that the girlfriend went to the popo station and reported and the popo them hold him and arrest him and charge him now people when we look at a story like this we see that this is not the run of the mill average jamaican youth that is out there this is not the average 23 year old it seems as if he has some sort of link as it pertains to criminal elements because the truth and the fact is that the average jamaican is not going to have any sort of verbal altercation or physical altercation with them girlfriend or wife or spouse or matey and leave and come back and go for a fire piece and pint it after or it shows that this man has some sort of criminal link he has some sort of criminal mind he is linked to somebody or he is a criminal himself
So me just I said, based on the fact that the girlfriend who is a complainant went to the poor poor station and report him, she know that he is a dangerous person. She know that he is a menace to society. And she know that if him claim that he is going to take her out, more than likely she is serious. However, she took a stand. She did the writing and she went to the poor poor and she reported him. Now people, what is going to happen after this or after he gets out? If he gets out in a reasonable time, that is yet to be determined. However, people, whenever you are threatened, whenever your life is in any sort of danger you should report it to the purple especially these women that are in all sorts of a b u s i v e relationship because people it usually gets worse before it gets better point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now the next thing that is popping in the news and continuing on the theme of hot-headed Jamaicans that are slapping away people without any sort of remorse. Now people, they are getting even younger. I am speaking about a person that is 18 year old and his name is Lynn Chris McBean O.C. Frost. And based on the information from the Popo, it is said that this is based on an incident that occurred in a place called Damhead. We are talking about St. Anne. And it is said that Mr. McBean, he took away the life of 39-year-old Hassan Fletcher. And based on the report from the Popo, it is said that Mr. Fletcher was standing amongst a group of persons when McBean basically rolled up and started to blaze up the place. And after the smoke cleared, it is said that Mr. Fletcher and at least three other persons were hit. Mr. Fletcher was taken to the place of recovery. However, people people too late was the call the other person they were basically treated and let go now based on the report from the popo it is said that mr mcbean was later arrested and charged and he was taken in front of an identification parade where he was pointed out and he also had a question and answer session with the popo and then he was charged his lawyer was also present and it is said that he was charged for the slap away he was also charged for illegal possession of a fire piece and also the lease now people, I wonder if you realize that most of these crimes that are perpetuated in Jamaica is done by some juvenile. It is done by some persons in them 15 or 16. As a matter of fact, based on statistics, it is said that most of the crimes that are committed in Jamaica are done by persons less than 30 year old and mostly under 20 or even under 25. So people like me say, I don't know the motive. The Pope was not given any sort of motive. I don't know the underlying story. However, based on the Pope report, it is said that a group of persons were standing when Mr. McBean just rolled up and started blazing at the place. And after the smoke cleared, we are speaking about one is gone and the three others were taken to the place of recovery. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news is people to highlight some negligence and irresponsible action by the JPS. May I talk about the Jamaica Public Service? Now this is based on a text that I got from a concerned citizen in Montego Bay and she said that she called the JPS customer service and she told them about her problem and they said that they would render some sort of assistance. ASAP, people, it has been months. So therefore she is saying she did not get any sort of favorable response, not a letter, not a message, no nothing. And people, you have to remember, we are speaking about high tension wire. So therefore if it drop down and it take out some people, pitney, if it take out some person, what are they going to say? So people, let me just assure you, this is the next perfect example that these persons in authority, the relevant authority, these persons in government, these persons at these companies, they are reactive instead of proactive. So until something drastic happens, until somebody actually loses their life or gets hurt, nobody is going to do anything, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine, but let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.